What's up everybody, Jacob Wheeler here. We're out here on the pond. Gonna go check a few different places, but I wanna show you one of my favorite techniques. Hands down is punching grass. I'm gonna go dive into some of the really cool aspects of it. Um, and maybe if you haven't done it before, maybe teach you a few things. So check it out, let's go. See if we can't go catch a couple of them. And so right now we're fishing down a little stretch of grass and this is hydrilla and you'll see, I'm actually fishing some of the submerged stuff right now and what what I'm looking for is a little bit thicker clumps. When you're grass fishing in general, what you're looking for is irregularities. I you hear me say that quite often, but that's just what bass want to be set up in. So whether it's thicker, it's thinner, um, something that's different is the key with the grass. And that normally is going to be somewhere where they're going to be set up. Now we started at the bottom end of this little stretch, um, sort of along the main river, has a lot of little current in it and everything else. But when you look at this mat right here, you'll see a lot of different things. You see it, it comes from a little bit of darker grass right there. You got a little clump, it's a little bit thicker. You got a hole right there and you got a little bit thicker patch right here and it starts to be thicker down through there. You know, I, I'm going to take my time and I'm probably going to take a little bit of time. This is a pretty high percentage area. I'm definitely going to flip the thickest part first because that's where I really feel like the majority of these fish are going to be setting up in the topped out stuff. I'm going to flip around there. I'm going to let it go down to the bottom on a slack line, uh, hop it a couple times, but I'm not going to give it a lot of time to sit in there. You know, I'm not going to dive around. Now, if I really felt like there was one in there, I might take my time a little bit, but that's not, you know, the big thing about grass fishing in, in general, most of the time, especially when you're flipping, it's a high percentage. You're trying to flip in these areas, hop your stuff around a little bit a couple times and get your bait back out of there and get to the next one. So, you know, now I've fished that little place, I'll fish this little bit thicker clump right here. I'll pitch it in that hole and, and I'll just try to dissect that area really quickly. But at the same point in time, just trying to make sure there's not a little school of them there. And each day is is a little bit different when you're flipping grass. You know, those fish could be wanting to be on the edge. If it's, it's, it's cloudier, they could be way up in there. On the inside edge, you see that inside edge there is a little bit thicker. So you really have to figure out where those fish are any given day and any given hour for that matter. So you really got to pay attention to every little detail. And that's the one thing that we're going to try to do. I'll show you, try to, try to show you some of the little, listen Bradley, little sucker. I'm going to try to show you a few little things this afternoon of how to catch a few fish in this grass and uh, hopefully we can do that. All right, this little grass edge is pretty good. That's one thing I don't normally like to do. You see I switched hands there. When you're flipping, especially right here, you know, you're, you're trying to keep your rod in one hand if you can. You'll see that I'll sort of feather it down there. Um, you know, I don't necessarily throw slack at it unless I'm fishing submerged grass. This grass is actually a little bit deeper. It's probably six seven foot deep i'm flipping in there oh there's one. oh son of a gun bit it gosh dang rookie mistake he had it too dang all right got a bite Let's see if we can watch out bradley <laughs> got him that's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Now, I missed that fish at first, but that's a perfect example. He actually bit it the second time. I let him have it, I seen him have it. It's not a big one, but it's a good start. All right, now on colors, you don't have to be too crazy. Um, you know, this, this is a hammer crawl, one of my little signature series bait. A little small profile, crawled out of style bait, works. I mean, you could pretty much throw anything, but I prefer this one. Just has a little bit thicker, thicker body. So, you know, I caught that last one on black and blue, so I'm probably going to stick with the black and blue. Um, but we might switch it up. In the sunnier days, a lot of times I'll, I'll even throw the green pumpkins if it's real clear. Even this plum, you know, green pumpkin plum is really a good color as well um, in that grass. So we'll stick with the green, with black and blue right now. But if they get fickle, don't feel weird to try to stuff stuff a little bit different. Black and blue is pretty much a standby and, and fishing mats. And the one thing you're also going to see. I'll unrig this real quick before I have this hook snelled. Um, and what, what a snell knot is, for those that you don't know, it's basically the way you, you, you tie it to this flipping hook. And most of the time you're going to use it with a, uh, you know, a, a straight shank hook. It kicks that hook out. You'll see when that weight comes down, it kicks that hook out and really hooks those fish a lot better. So let's go and see if we can catch one. That's so good. Got that one. <laughs> Didn't even have him on. <laughs> Passing the grass. Exactly what I was talking about. He thumped it right through there. Watch out, Brad. 
not a big one but a lot of grass and we got a bass oh man get some of this grass out of the way Whew. going to battle on them probably catch a big one today doing this actually done got me dang you sucker say one thing not to do when you're punching oh there's one oh that son of a gun stole my stuff what the i'm not exactly what sure happened right there unreal unbelievable that felt like a good one i'm not really sure exactly what happened that was a good one just when he bit he had it good okay i'm tired of this swap out and get a, a one ounce missed a couple fish now i think a lot of them are small but i, I also feel like um sometimes going to a one ounce is the way to go we'll stop it right there on him box hooks out go with the four rod again and this is the one i'm going to show you guys how to tie the snail knot you put your line through the the front eye so where the point is you want to make sure you put it through there first so then you're going to come down you're going to make a loop you're going to make sure you come down the shank of the hook make a loop and you're going to wrap it around you're going to make sure you wrap it around that shank right above the the soft classic keeper four to five times okay so now you've wrapped it around four to five times that double over line and now you're gonna put your braid through that loop that you just created so like that loop that we just that double over line that we had along the shank put it through that loop okay now you're gonna put him right there you're gonna wet him you pull on him real good because you see how it slipped a little bit there once you cinch him down that locks him in place you cut and pull a little more to make sure that does not slip because that's the biggest deal so he does not slip we're good to go grab another hammer crawl let's see if we can catch one one thing i was trying to teach you guys i didn't do it there i did i did that last time but i i i keep on flipping out there when i'm letting it go to the bottom i get to the bottom and i pick up and if that fish has got it i try to tighten up and lean into him <laughs> There you go. Got us another one, Brad. That, get that grass off your face. There we go. Good. Well, hello. What do you think, Brad? And stop messing with them. That one was not coming off. Look at that. <laughs> I cracked that sucker's butt. Now, when you're choosing line, that's a, that's another really big thing when you're punching. Uh, you're gonna hear a lot of different things. Uh, for me personally, I really like to stay to this is actually 50 pound suffix 832. Um, for me personally, that 50 pound just feels so much better. It falls so much better. It goes through so much better through your guides. It's not as thick. You know, that's something that's really important. Uh, it comes off your reel a lot better as well. So for me, that green 50 pound braid is about perfect. 711 uh, TCS Akuma extra heavy rod is this Helios reel seven three to one to eight to one you want a little higher gear ratio reel that way you can really get it out there and when that fish bite you have to really be able to reel in and, and catch up to some of those fish when they take off to that grass a lot of times you don't have a whole lot of time to get them out of there that's my setup it's one of those things when you, you get out here and you start flipping grass whether it's hydrilla or milfoil you have some opportunities to catch some really big fish caught some decent fish today and that's what it's all about having fun doing something new so next time you're around your local lake or your pond or you know, pick up a little bit bigger weight. If you see some mats over in the corner, mess around with them, get used to it. This is something that works all over the country. Um, caught them from New York all the way down to Florida and everywhere in between. There's one right there. Oh, son of a gun. We're gonna see if we can't go catch us a couple more. These son of a guns playing games with us. The, they playing games. We can't have seen, that. Seen Brad's yeah. okay or not? I think it's annoying, Gil. Oh, that's good. I'll come and get all right, guys, what do you guys think? We're about to drop Bradley out. This sucker's so hot. It's the dog days of summer. No, it's constant panting sounds can be subject to be a little bit annoying. But uh, if you like labs and like dogs, he's your guy. <laughs> what do you think, Brad? You want to go back? I don't know. All right, all right, I'm going to head that way. 
All right, everybody, we're going to get call it a day. Hopefully you learned a few things about flipping grass. Look, we have a lot of fun getting out here, throwing a big stick. It's more hand-to-hand -hand combat. There's no doubt these fish, when you get them in that thick stuff, it's about one of the most fun things to possibly do. Uh, bass fishing is trial and error, and it's a lot of fun. So make sure to do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because we're going to have a lot more great comment to come.